These GoPro videos capture some of the worst moments of people's lives, so please be respectful in the comments section as we analyze these videos together. After all, you are only one bad day away from any of these situations happening to you. Number 10. It's unknown if the individual wearing the GoPro in this video is hunting or involved with some sort of wildlife conservation program. The clip starts off with a man untying a moose and removing a mask from its face. He watches as the moose gets up while telling it to move along. Instead, the moose gets ready to charge the man wearing the GoPro. The moose then proceeds to stomp him while on the ground. Eventually, the animal lets him go and the man stands back up. The moose still looks ready to charge at any moment. The man proceeds to start throwing objects to get the moose to run away, which eventually works. This man looks shaken up but appears to be alright, which is lucky considering how a moose can easily take someone's life. He's also fortunate that this moose did not have antlers, which are known to cause massive damage to a human if they can even survive the blow in the first place. My biggest question is why was this moose tied up to begin with? The man was clearly trying to release the animal, and I hope he wasn't seriously hurt as a result from the incident. Number 9 a YouTuber named RockMoons90 is doing some hiking in the Ruta Agua Hayes trails in Mexico. The video soon turns into a warning for all hikers that you never know what could happen in the wilderness. A truck soon pulls up in front of him and a masked man exits holding a powerful weapon. It's unknown if this person was alone, but someone must have seen this hiker was holding expensive gear, like a tripod and video camera. Rock Moon's 90 is lucky enough that this man doesn't notice the GoPro attached to his clothes. So he has proof that this actually happened. The robber nonchalantly drives off. Rock Moon's 90 is very lucky this person did not take his life, as there would clearly be no witnesses. He reported the incident to authorities, and they told him this is not the first time something like this has happened in the area. Some people in the comments claim this video is staged, but their actions and reactions seem very genuine to me. What do you think about this video? Number 8 A YouTuber named Ben S is low on gas so he pulls into a nearby station. He always wears a GoPro helmet when riding, and as he is fumbling with the card reader at the pump, it records something that he will have a tough time explaining later. Oh. A shadow passes by close enough to make Ben react. He turns around only to find nothing. What's really strange to me is how, if you pay close attention, you'll see the shadow disappear before it even makes it all the way across the pump. It's going from left to right normally and then suddenly vanishes somewhere in the middle. I know that shadows can sometimes play tricks on you, so I'm not going to say that this is 100% paranormal. If you have a scientific explanation as to how this could have happened, please share. Until then, I am inclined to take Ben's word that this was a phantom figure. Number 7 A YouTuber called Survival Life tracks a gigantic snake across his local soccer field. I'm guessing that he must have been using a selfie stick to get this up close. But then again, it wouldn't surprise me if his hands and fingers were only inches away when this happened. Eventually, survival life backs off and leaves the snake alone, and I'm curious as to what kind of snake this was. I can tell by the tropical tree line that this video was taken somewhere near a jungle, in which case this snake could definitely be poisonous. Some of survival life's fans are saying that this was a cobra, and I just wanted to confirm what type of cobra this was. That way, we would know if survival life was risking a hospital trip or even his life here. Number 6. YouTuber Alexander Rusnov climbs a crane with a GoPro and his friend. This alone is enough to give people anxiety, me included. But what he does next is something I've never seen before. With no safety equipment whatsoever, 
Alexander hangs off the crane only being held up by his two arms. He's so confident he won't fall that he even attempts some pull-ups. While I certainly don't suggest anyone attempts something like this, this YouTuber's courage is certainly both amazing and scary. Number 5. A YouTuber named Essie Styles is camping in the woods of Hinton, Canada when he hears the last thing that anyone wants to hear just outside of their tent. A lone wolf's howl pierces through their conversation and renders both S.E. Styles and his friends silent as night sets in. They soon realize they are vastly outnumbered. If anyone watching this happens to be an animal wildlife expert, I'd like to know if these wolves were howling because they were aware of the human presence nearby, or if this was for some other reason. Perhaps this was a warning to S.E. Styles not to come any closer, although I'm sure he and his friend did not need any extra convincing. Number 4. Jeff Wesley is a paramedic whose YouTube channel gives us a glimpse into the frantic lives of emergency medical service technicians everywhere. Today, he must drive an ambulance full speed into the heavy rains, making his job more difficult than usual. The roads are slick and the driver visibility is very low. Every intersection is a serious gamble. Sometimes the roadways grow narrow and give cars a little difficulty pulling over. At one point, some local wildlife even veers into the ambulance's path at the last minute. Oh, come on, duck. Jeez. <laughs> I missed it! I didn't hit it! Despite all of this, Jeff Wesley gets to the scene quickly and is able to provide help. I just want to give a shout out to Jeff Wesley and all of the other EMS workers like him for their courage and service, as this video clearly demonstrates. Number 3. Bob Osborne flies down a bumpy mountainous road in Bolivia. With little concern for his health or safety, the 7 minute downhill race is filled with large rocks like this one. He navigates the obstacle just in time. Look how slow this van is driving. That's the appropriate speed for such a treacherous road, yet it's quickly passed. Keep in mind this vehicle could easily kick a rock straight into their dirt bike at any time and send them careening to their doom. They eventually make it to the bottom of the mountain still in one piece. I just hope Bob Osborne performs regular maintenance on his bike because this looks like the type of road that could snap a tire clean off at any time. Number 2. A YouTuber named This Is Dan Bell has made a name for himself by exploring some of the creepiest abandoned places on Earth. This time he is seeing what he can find at an abandoned house outside of Baltimore City, the former home of the notorious Stephen Craig Johnson to be exact. In 1983, Stephen Craig Johnson brutally ended the life of his child in a fit of delusional rage. The case grew famous all up and down the entire East Coast and it doesn't look like anyone has lived in the house ever since. As Dan Bell travels deeper inside, you can feel the sadness and despair clinging to every room. Amidst the discarded debris and wreckage, Dan Bell finds a weird handwritten letter in the closet with illustrations of a woman on the front and back. There's a brief paragraph talking about how evil the house is and what can be done to stop it. Some of the handwriting is kind of hard to read, so if anyone wants to type this letter out, I would appreciate it. Two things seem kind of sketchy about this letter to me though. First of all, the ink does not look faded enough to be something from the 80s, and the paper does not seem very aged either. I don't think it was penned by anyone in the Johnson family, so maybe someone else snuck inside and placed it here in recent years. Dan Bell is understandably nervous at this point, but he has come this far and there is still an entire second floor left to explore. He eventually finds himself in a stale attic covered with scattered documents and heaps of trash. He's just about to leave when he makes eye contact with something that has been watching him all along. A vulture, the devourer of fallen animals, silently regards him from the floor. Its gaze is calm and expectant 
almost prideful in a way. If this really is a wild animal and not staged, then it is almost certainly a bad omen for sure. Before we get to number 1, my name is Chills and I hope you're enjoying my narration. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. I recently released a music video for my song Sidelined and I'd love to get your opinion on it. Tap the circle icon in the top right corner, then tap my music video to give it a watch. It's also linked in the description below. It's a proven fact that generosity makes you a happier person, so if you're generous enough to hit that subscribe button and the bell beside it then thank you. This way you'll be notified of the new videos I upload every Thursday and Saturday. Number 1 Ice Jakey Jake, whose real name is Jacob Child, gently bobs in the water while watching the sunset. It's a beautiful moment in an otherwise terrifying situation. Just hours before, Jacob was happily diving with tour guides in Australia. Somehow he got separated from the rest of his group, and upon surfacing he found the boat was long gone. Now he solemnly contemplates his fate while treading shark infested waters. So that's it. He remains remarkably calm the entire time, but it could just be mild shock. A rescue plane flies overhead, missing him by miles. There's nothing he can do except keep waiting. It's a full six hours before the plane finally spots him, just as the sun is closing over the horizon. A few minutes later, and there almost undoubtedly would not have been enough light for him to have been seen. Courtrooms are places of high drama where lives are permanently changed every day. While some of these entries deal with the raw emotions displayed in the courtroom, others deal with paranormal activity. Such large buildups of emotional energy can lead to scary results. <laughs> 